Hey guys, the Indian Space Research Organization, also known as ISRO, launches its brand new GSLV Mark III rocket today. Well, if you are watching this video today, and guess what the rocket takes with it? Just kidding, a crew module. That's right. India has taken the first leap towards manned space missions. So we, the spectators of everything, decided to do a short informational video on it. The new version of the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle, also known as GSLV Mark III, is India's first rocket built to fly the heaviest of stuff into space, while the Mark I and II rockets can place up to 2.5 tons into the geostationary transfer orbit, the Mark III can place up to 4.5 tons in geostationary transfer orbit and 10 tons in the low Earth orbit. This big boy is designed to make ISRO fully self-reliant in launching heavier communication satellites of Inset 4 class, which weigh 4,500 to 5,000 kilograms. On the other hand, the crew module, which cost about 15 crore rupees and can carry three astronauts into space, is one of the first ever built by ISRO. Its only predecessor was the space capsule recovery experiment conducted in January 2007. It carried a half-ton capsule into space, which orbited for 12 days before landing back into the Bay of Bengal. So here's what the mission's gonna do. Test the atmospheric characteristics and the stability of the updated rocket on its way up and would study the crew module on its re-entry into the atmosphere. In the words of ISRO itself, the mission would validate its atmospheric ascent, especially the aerodynamic and control features that cannot be decisively tested on ground. It shall also send the unmanned crew module on a suborbital trajectory with the latter splashing down in the Bay of Bengal about 21 minutes after the rocket lifts off from Sriharikota. The GSLV Mark III is designed as a three-stage vehicle with a height of 42.4 meters and a lift of mass of 630 tons. Stage 1 The first stage comprises two identical S200 large solid boosters. Each booster has a diameter of 3.2 meters, a length of 25 meters and contains 200 tons of propellant. These boosters burn for 130 seconds and produce a peak thrust of about 10.3 million newtons. Stage 2 the core stage, designated L110, is a 4-meter diameter liquid fuel stage containing 110 tons of propellant. The L110 core stage will ignite 113 seconds after the liftoff and burn for about 200 seconds. Stage 3 The third stage is a C25 cryogenic engine. It shall be kept passive in this flight, which means it shall not be ignited, as the cryogenic engine is yet to be made ready in the next two years. The cupcake-shaped crew module is 2.5 meters tall and 3.5 meters in diameter. It carries six liquid propellant thrusters and two independent sets of parachutes, with diameters varying from 2.5 meters to a whopping 31 meters. Well, this is how it all takes place. The crew module is launched aboard the GSLV Mark III rocket from the Sri Harikota launch station. The first two stages of the GSLV burn in order to take the rocket out of Earth's stratosphere. The rocket drops the module from a height of 126 km and explodes at a safe distance. The module, on the other hand, hurtles towards the ocean at a velocity of 19,000 kmph. The six liquid propellant thrusters on the module turn on and adjust the fall angle before entry into the atmosphere. While falling, its sensors measure 200 parameters including pressure, temperature and stress experienced at different points in the module's structure. Re-entry starts at a height of about 80 km and the thrusters cease to operate. As the crew module streaks through the atmosphere, the air around it heats up and the spacecraft slows down. The heat shield at its base is exposed to temperatures of around 1000 degrees Celsius. At a height of about 15 km, with the capsule traveling at 839 kmph, the process of deploying the parachutes begins. The crew module carries two independent sets of parachutes, both of which are simultaneously deployed. First, the 2.5 meter diameter pallet parachutes come out, followed by the 6.5 meter drop parachutes, which cut the capsule's velocity down to 180 kmph. At a height of 5 km, the main parachutes, which have a diameter of 31 meters, are deployed. These slow down the capsule to 25 km per hour before splashdown. The module splashes down into the ocean some 180 km from the Indra point of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands upon which the main parachutes are immediately detached from the crew module and a beacon giving its position activated. The module is eventually collected by the Indian Coast Guard, which marks the end of the process. The mission equips India with critical technologies which it shall need in order to accomplish its 2020 mission of sending humans into space. It also enhances the capability of the country to be a competitive player in the multi-billion dollar commercial launch market. 
please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay in touch for our next video on SRO's works in 2014. Comment below for suggestions and to let us know what you would like to watch next. Go to our Google Plus page to know about what is happening next in the night sky. Link is given in the description. Anything left? No? Well then, take care and Merry Christmas.